so why not go lighter and do full range? Definitely trash range of motion. Half reps. And so hundreds, if not thousands of comments were made making fun of The Rock, who's simply showing him working out, going for a very difficult set at the end of his workout. Coach Greg and The Rock doesn't know how to train. Well, at least that's what the internet says. And so he posted a video of him doing incline bench on the Smith machine. It stayed Saturday morning chest and back training. Essentially training opposing muscle groups, doing the chest followed by the back. And in doing so, it allows him to save a lot of time. It's exactly how I like to train. I'll train a set of chest and follow that up with a set of back. And in doing so, you don't have to rest as long between sets. You're allowing the chest to recover while you're doing a set of back. He states... 275 pounds he does it for eight reps he says not too heavy and remember this is at the end of his chest workout he's already pre-fatigued so he's not nearly going to be as strong be mindful as to how far you bring the weight down to mitigate that stress on your shoulder i had a complete shoulder reconstruction surgery you don't want that fun pain in your life so take my advice three second negatives intense and controlled and so first of all many people went to say yeah not too heavy 275 pounds very heavy but remember strength is relative for the rock 275 pounds it's really not all that heavy he could probably have handled additional 40 maybe even 90 pounds no need to go heavy guys puts 275 on incline bench many comments exactly like that but remember strength is relative for the rock 275 pounds it's not all that heavy think of this at 10 years of age the rock probably could only have lifted 50 pounds but now that he's a lot stronger and clearly still natural in his 50s, he can handle a lot more weight. And imagine how strong will be at 90, continues to make improvements, and at this rate, perhaps at 90, he can enter the Mr. Olympia competition. But when The Rock says not too heavy, I have to disagree. He's actually training very heavy. And how do I know this? Because he only got eight reps. Remember, The Rock had shoulder reconstruction surgery. Does that sound fun? And so he's saying, I'm not training heavy. 275 pounds yet he only gets it for eight reps last i checked eight reps still very heavy and did you watch his range of motion notice does he go all the way down to his chest no and so rather than going through a full range of motion which causes him shoulder pain notice that's him not everyone he's only going halfway down to mitigate that shoulder pain and so to me that's just training smart and so all the people making comments saying the rock doesn't know how to train do they not understand that he had shoulder reconstruction surgery but at the same time if you've had shoulder reconstruction surgery do you really think you should be doing sets of eight to failure and so if he was actually training smart he would literally use a lighter weight 275 for 8 why not 225 for 12 and notice he says three second eccentric it's not three seconds i dare you to time it try timing any of those negatives were they in fact three seconds long no but listen i'm being pedantic when people say three second negative they almost never do it for three seconds it's usually two seconds but what he's doing is dramatically slowing down the eccentric portion of the movement that is the part where you're much stronger and so my advice always to lower the weight twice as slow as you raise it. If you do that, you're demonstrating excellent control of which he's doing on every single rep. And so although he's only doing eight reps, they were done with extreme control precision and very unlikely to get injured. And so although he could train lighter than this for higher reps, he did get about 30 seconds of time under tension for this very lift. Now, if he were to lighten the weight even more and get a couple extra reps, he would perhaps approach 40 seconds. That would make it a lot safer and healthier and still allow him to build just as much muscle. And so if you've had shoulder reconstruction surgery and the doctor says, don't go through a full range of motion, well, listen to your doctor. I, for example, had hip surgery. Doctor said, do not go down to parallel ever again it's not healthy for you you only need to go to approximately 30 maybe 45 degrees as in one third to halfway down and so sometimes rather than training harder than last time you need to train smarter than last time but the rocks fans notice how quickly they turned on him notice they love the rock year after year 
But as soon as he posts a video where he's not training the way you think he should train, he's suddenly writing comment after comment, making fun of The Rock. Smith machine, not full range of motion, doesn't count. Old Rock used to yell focus at people in the gym. New Rock does quarter reps on the Smith machine. Is it me or is that range of movement disappointing? So why not go lighter and do full range? Definitely trash range of motion. Half reps. Yelp. The video is not impressive anymore. It's a shame. I love The Rock, but that video is trash. And so hundreds, if not thousands of comments were made making fun of The Rock, who's simply showing him working out, going for a very difficult set at the end of his workout. This is what happens. When you get famous, everyone wants to take you down. And so to me, The Rock training very hard and training the way the doctor ordered. He clearly loves to train heavy. And for him, 275 pounds, he feels that's very light. And so if he used to perhaps lift 315 pounds, and in this set he's doing 275, it is in fact a lighter weight. Remember, how heavy you're lifting is relative. No spotters! Of which the commenters said, it's a Smith machine, a spotter is redundant. You don't really need one because the Smith machine, you can lock the weight in place at any moment. And so I'm here to tell you, you should always use a spotter. I know you're not always going to. We're all guilty of this. The rock is training alone, but you can in fact get injured when using a Smith machine. If you don't have a spotter, you can in fact get hurt. For example, when you go to re-rack that weight, I've seen it so that people miss the re-rack and drop the weight on their chest. It literally almost happened to Chris Bumstead. You don't quite rack it properly. The weight comes crashing down. You're your spotter can be there to assist you. Or you could tear your pack, or you can't quite lift the weight up into proper position. It is always a smart choice to use a spotter, but on a Smith machine, it's much safer than on a flat bench. But on the Smith machine, there are safety racks in place. And so please adjust that safety rack so that if you can't lift a weight, you can simply put it on the safety rack. The rock's only going approximately halfway down. The safety rack can be placed a few inches below where he's going to descend to. And in case he can't get the weight, the safety rack is there to stop the weight from crashing down on him. Considering he's in his 50s and training to failure, and even if he wasn't, you can in fact tear a peck. And if that happens, the weight is going to come crashing down. You're not going to be able to stop it. And so if you have a safety rack or a spotter, very smart choice to make. And so listen, so many people are critical of people's form technique. Are they lifting exactly the way they should? Are they doing everything perfectly? But you know what's much more important than training and lifting perfectly? Showing up. The Rock's showing up day after day, week after week, year after year. He's been doing it for decades. And yeah, I don't think he's natural, but at least he's showing up. At least he's putting in the work. He's doing all that he can to build his most impressive physique. And so we may criticize someone for what they're taking or not taking or their form or doing things perfectly. But if you show up and you train hard for years, I guarantee you're going to have amazing results. I've yet to see anyone, including myself, lift perfectly every single time they go to the gym. Sometimes you're just going to train. You're going to cheat. You're not going to do the sets perfectly. But if you go to the gym and try, that is above all the most important thing. Try not to eagle lift, but if you do, do so in as safe an environment as possible. Use spotters. Be safe. And considering The Rock's in his 50s and may or may not be on HRT, we just don't know. The number one supplement of which I'd recommend, which is not banned by water, you can use it in sporting competition, it's GO2 Max. The main ingredient, NMN, has been shown in double-blind placebo-controlled studies. That means it's not the placebo effect that this stuff actually works. Not only can it ward off age-related illnesses, it also can dramatically improve cardio for both couch potatoes who aren't exercising and those who take their cardio very seriously like coach Greg racing on bikes MMA fighters marathoners triathletes and so on don't just take my word for it please do your research I double dare you research as much as you can because if you do you're gonna be a believer double dog dare you do as much research as possible watch Joe Rogan and Andrew Huberman discuss this on episode 1958 the final 16 and a half minutes do all the research look everywhere and you're going to be impressed. Can't wait for you to discover the benefits of NMN, my number one supplement, GO2 Max. Interested? Head over to my website, code Greg, 10% off. And of course, the cookbooks, the training books, the clothing line, the circle dive book, my life's work, how to lose weight, keep it off for the rest of your life. 
all the amazing supplements you see behind me. There's so much going on. Click over and head over on my website and don't forget to use code Greg to save you 10%. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment for the algorithm. Don't forget to watch one of those two bloops. Do it right now. Follow me on the gram, Greg Doucette, IBU Pro. So much going on there. And until next time, I am out.